<laughs> Trying to do a burn up. Does them good in reverse. <laughs> How was your night last night? Lou! What up, man? <laughs> Lou's over there splitting a case on a blaster. What year is that? Uh, I think it's 01. 01. Bushman's trucks being loud over there. Actually, Bushman hasn't been in a video in a long time. We'll go say what's up. Bushman! You. What are you doing? Um, oh, nothing. Little pre-trip. Are you leaving? Just a little bit, a couple hours. Oh, dang. So we have these far mudding halos. See what? Yeah. They're for the headlights. They go about right. Hold on, this one's this side. They go like right there. Something like that. All right, Bushman moved the truck. He's done with his pre-trip. In my opinion, that was a short pre-trip, but we have these halos and it's really simple. So this is what we got to work with. We have these wires, which is power and ground. This little thingy that goes to that thingy that goes to the lights. All right, look at these. Welcome back to the build series. Today, we're working on the bed. I got the bed off, we're gonna finish it up. I gotta put the doors on the top, there's little side pieces right there, and then that backsplash piece, and then we'll be good. So I got my cardboard, I make stencils out of that stuff, and then I cut it out, and then I weld it on, and then we're done. That easy. Before I get this video started, I wanna go ahead and remind y'all to like my videos if you like them, because it really does help um i don't say it much because you know i just don't think of it i'm trying to give y'all a good video i don't want to ruin it by saying yo go like my video but i'm saying it right now today we're working on the defender limited i get a lot of questions about it like uh why'd you get rid of the ac and you know i didn't i didn't get rid of the heat either because that's connected to the motor this is the cab we've already been over this but yes it still has AC and heat. I just don't have doors in a windshield yet, but I'm working on that. Once I get done with this, once I get done with this, I can go onto the doors and then I'll do the front windshield and front bumper and all that jazz and I'll finish it off. And you guys may be wondering if I'm gonna paint it or not. Oh. Yeah. Um, I haven't decided on exactly what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I'm not just gonna leave it rusted and let it rot. I'm gonna seal it at least. But uh, I have a couple ideas in mind. Um, some are expensive and then others are stuff I can do myself. So I'm probably gonna do the ones that I can do myself. And I'm gonna try something new on this, I think. And I think you all are really gonna like it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the doors on this. In order to do so, I'm gonna have to cut these off. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, we'll get back to that and do like some sort of other design to do that centerpiece. But my objective is to get the doors done, the side pieces done. I think I might do a piece like right here. Um, we'll see once I get all this done and back on there. And then, oh, the center piece. I want to still show the snorkels, so I'm going to bring it up to like right there. So you'll still be able to see the snorkels. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut those two pieces off and then we'll catch up there. And boom, we're back. Just like that. All right, so I got to clean that up. And I kind of hacked this a little bit. It's my first day back. For those of you that don't know, this is my third build ever, ever fabricating anything. I used to weld stuff here and there at work. I was a diesel mechanic and every now and then they'd need something welded like a brake chamber on one of these trailers or some aluminum floors patched, which I was horrible at. I just kind of filled it up. I wasn't really good at aluminum. This is my first build. I did the front bumper, the rad relocate, floorboards to fit the 32s. A lot of people ask if I have a lift. I have no lift, just floorboards. The bumper and the rear bumper. This build went through stages. Dude, look what just came in. It's heavy enough to be. Oh yeah, the Moorhead rear arms for the Defender. What are the odds I'm working on it and these come in? That's so sick, they're adjustable. All right, so I went ahead and got one side cut. Now I have to duplicate that. So I have two of them. And then, 
this should fit like right i forget where i left off but here is the hinge i'm about to weld on and this is what it's kind of going to look like it's going to have sides down right here and it's just it's going to seal right here i'll put a seal on the inside of this so when i shut it it smushes down uh the hinge will be kind of hidden sort of but um i did this because if i did the whole box it would have hit that it sucks but you know i gotta do it i'll put another piece there so it kind of blends in i can weld now and i got clean visors for it look how clean that is look how clean well kind of weld all right so we got the doors kind of tacked on there I'm going to do some edges right here. Make it look a little nicer. We got a little bit of a bow from welding, but that's okay. We'll beat that back and she'll be good to go. I never back up in these. Let me back up. Yeah, you can see the you can see the bow right there, but that's fixable. Once I have that latch down and everything, it'll be nice and straight. Just latch her on down. What you think, Blue? Looks good, man. I like it. All right, so we got two doors on there. Shut and shut. So I have these shocks. Uh, I forget what the weight is on them, but I'm pretty sure two of them should be able to open this up, no problem. Hopefully, if not, I'll have to get some stronger ones. But I'm gonna try that out, and then I have this lat. I'm gonna get this cut out and figure out how to mount these shocks. Probably have to go over here because it's thin right there. But yeah. There's the doors. I'll take a step back. I still have to do the trim pieces around them, but... It's looking good. This is do-it-yourself customs. Where we do it yourself. Oh, we got a Swamp Ranch update. I haven't showed Blue's new side-by-side, -side, I don't think, have I? I don't think so. What is this, a 2020 or 2021? 2021. 2021. Polaris Ranger 1000. Yes, sir. He's got these Can-Am wheels and tires off of my sister's 570 Renegade. I think so. Yep, she has a 2021 570 Renegade. So we have these wheels and tires. They are Mega Mayhems. He's got the adapters for them. They just came in, so he's gonna go ahead and throw those on there, and it's gonna look cool. Oh, and he got an 850. He has a 2021 850. It looks just like the 2020. Yeah, it's green and gray. So you guys seen that before. So yeah, he just got that, his first Can-Am. He loves it. All right, so I went ahead and cut these out. These are gonna be right there on the edge piece. I'm gonna make an edge here and an edge there. Blue's over there vacuuming his tires for some reason. But while he's doing that, I got these tacked on. So I have some nice little edges in there. Now I got these marked up. I gotta cut those holes out. And I can put my handles in. And I'll put the little latch and then we'll move on to the shocks. Hopefully two of these are good or one of them. We're gonna try one at a time. I might need to help it up, but you know, that's okay. All right. It's on the ground. Look at that. That looks good. That's quite a difference. Looking better already with can uh -huh. parts. Yep. Yeah. So, I got these cut out. So these will fit right up in there. Something like that. And then, uh, yeah, that'll shut. And I'll have my little latch. I broke the rivet gun. So I got that one like halfway on. I broke the rivet gun. And uh, yeah, that sucks. But good news is, I can still put on the little latch. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Gotta put a latch right here, where when it closes, it latches. Good morning, it's a new day. All right, so I did a lot of stuff off camera last night, a lot of the uh, mm, detailed stuff. Like, I don't know, I'll show you. I have that. Uh, here's the shocks I got. 
Uh, I'm gonna be putting a little bit longer ones on. I think these are like six inch or seven inch shocks. Uh, they don't really have a lot of room to go up and that's not quite that much room for me to work with. Like I think about grabbing a rope out of here or just reaching in here in general, this thing is getting in the way. I went ahead and smoothed all this stuff out. It's not the best, but there she is on this side. We got her all smooth. There's a couple spots like right there I gotta touch up, but there's my bed. Right, so it's raining. It's actually dying down a little bit. Died down as soon as I started this video actually. But I went ahead and capped these off. Got them nice and smooth. Got that one. And these two. Cap these off so I can go ahead and put these pieces in and then I'll seal the rest of that off. I've been just doing a bunch of welding, um, sealing this box off the best I can. And then I realized I was like, you know what, let me get some work done and fabricate, which that is work, but I don't know. It was really rusted and uh, it sucks when you're trying to weld with rust. So I had to clean all that out, which took forever, but Look at yeah, Denny Joe the neighbor needs a I forget what it called. This thing. A gauge checker thing? I don't know. I forget. I used to use them when I'd adjust valves. So yeah, valve checker. I don't know. But anyways, he's gotta check his valves. And he doesn't have the right one, so I'm gonna bring this down. Hopefully this is the right one for him. Since it's raining, I was gonna take the three-wheeler, but I'm gonna go ahead and take Pops Limited uh, because it has windows and doors, and I don't wanna get wet. Oh yeah. Doors! Yeah. That's nice. Fun fact, these are my old doors. My dad switched them when I started my build because my tent is darker, if you remember. I had that Swamp Ranch sticker there, the Super ATV, and the wide open right there. Uh, we don't need that. And we're off. We have the part. So, we're going to trade them this for some shocks for the bed because the shocks I have are too short. Hopefully the longer shocks will fix my problem of it not opening all the way. Hi Dalton. Oh, he's got to stop. Welcome to YouTube. What's your favorite color? Oh. Blue, purple, and green. Yeah, I'm going to Dennis's to pick up some shocks and then I'll be back. Okay, we got a lot of work to do. You like my side by side? Yeah. I finished it. All oh, look brand new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Danny Drew, are you outside? It's not... Oh, he's in the shop. He's in the shop. He's got his back brace on and everything. He's ready to work. Oh. Dang old Danny Joe. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. Let's see if it's got the right size. Yeah. You got the goods? Ha <laughs> ha look at these. All right, well, hopefully okay. this will work. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be much, it's just no, my doors yeah. won't open all the way. But no, yeah, I feel, I feel like I have my Oh, so. but look at this. I don't know if I showed this yet, but here's his interior, he redid it. Because the head unit was here, and it was like a death trap for people's heads. He's got his windshield in, the little mounts, they twist like that. It's really hard to do. I'm not going to do it, because I don't want to cut myself. And then he's got the little visor up there. It's crooked. Unless you redid it. Yeah, I redid it. And y'all seen the snorkel set up before. That's where his snorkel goes. And out through there. There's his camera, his lights, his obnoxiously loud speakers. But it is getting there. You just gotta do a bed. Just sitting here looking at it, it's funny because just today I was like, man. A bed would look good. A flat bed would look good. Oh, yeah. Any kind of bed. You know? Yeah. Right, we'll get the cab done first. Yeah, get the cab done because I'm almost done with my bed. And I'm done with my cab. You ain't got no windshield. I'm starting on doors next week. You ain't got no windshield yet. It don't matter. <laughs> windshield can come later. Windshield's easy. All right, so we got O2 over there. Doing brakes, that's how he does brakes, as he sits there and... Are you YouTubing how to do brakes? Uh, yeah, 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 I, I, And then I'm over here. I got this on. I'm about to throw this piece on right now. 
I've been forgetting to give y'all updates, but that's like the backsplash. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at that. So yeah, I'm doing these pieces here on the side and then I can do another one there. And then I'll have a top one that comes here, up here, there, down there, and you get the point to there. So it's kind of like a swoop down and it, this will be all seamless right through here. And it'll be like one big swoop, so. Now I just need to run this up over from here and that'll be the edge for this pretty much. And that'll be complete-ish. All the pooches, all the pooches. Dawson finishes brakes. How'd your brakes come out? <laughs> he just got his four-wheeler back. Have you rode it yet? No. That's what I'm about to do. He said he's about to ride it. Test update. Update, update, update. I have those. I added these on each side. Now it's going to be two more pieces right here. And then the top one that goes across. Nice and sleek. All right, here we are with another update. He sunk his four-wheeler. Um, they're out riding, but I'm still working because I got to get this done. All right, so I got that on there. It's nice and smooth. I could have put a piece here for the So that piece is on. That piece is on. I still got to clean up that. But, uh, and then I got to weld this stuff. But I can go ahead and cut these pieces out, get them going. That way, tomorrow, all I gotta do is go over this whole thing, make sure everything's welded and sealed and all that, and she'll be good. And you guys can see what it looks like when I put it on there. I still need a rivet gun so I can finish this side because I don't have the handle or nothing in there. I gotta clean up this side too. It's a process, y'all. Here's an angle I never show. So crazy. I remember before I built my cab, I was like, man, I want a nice, solid, big roof. Cause on the factory Defender, which is right there, it's a smaller roof. Look at all this room I got. It's so cool up here. Even though it's not that high. Like, look at these. I remember when I was building these, I was like, oh yeah, I can like chill right there. <laughs> and it's like not comfortable at all. I can, I, yeah, I'd do that. Okay, that that's pretty comfortable. All right. Man, this is crazy. Got it all in. <sighs> Good morning, Biles and girls. We're back. And look at this. I'm gonna flip the camera around, but it is close to completion. Uh, I just gotta tidy a couple things up and it's done. You know, weld a few more things, but the outline is done. Look at this. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did it to him. Nice little accent on the back. I figured throw it all into one with this. Covers everything up. Like I said, I still gotta finish touching her up and welding and everything, but she's on there. That's what it'll look like. Alright, so Blue got the oh forgot. I always forget it's downshift. I never drive this thing. Blue got the three-wheeler going. We're going down to the neighbor's house. Carol's got the semi. He's got a couple trailers for us to move. Come on. So these are mobile welding trailers. They train people to weld. Dude, I just grabbed a welder and just started going at it. I sucked at first. The more you do it, the less you suck. Okay. You're going the wrong way. Oh, sweet. We're going to pass the, uh, the track. I haven't looked at it in a while. Probably overground, to be honest. Coleman hasn't been here. Dude, this is the slowest I've ever been down this trail. Oh, hoo -hoo. That was close. Oh, hopefully he doesn't back up. Oh man, I didn't think about that. All right, all right. Whew. Yeah, I would not have gotten it into reverse that quick. I'm gonna stay back here. Going in the track, going in the track. We don't care about those signs. Oh, okay, maybe. Maybe it is a Mayday one. Right, we're gonna go back down. Oh. The track is shut down. Sorry, but it is too dangerous to ride. <laughs> oh yeah, this is sketch. Oh, 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 hey. All right. Oh, no suspension. All right, back in the shop. Right now, I am building these little side pieces. Um, don't judge right now. I just kind of overlap, make it quick and easy. I didn't feel like getting exact measurements. That's what a grinder's for. Anyways, uh, I gotta get my door seal on there. This is the last piece of the whole door seal. I already had that done as part of the cab and it goes all the way down. And I'm just missing this one piece. So, put this here. And then I can dress all this stuff up, run this down, you know, whatever. Make it look good. But, I need these in so I can start on the door. As you may see, this is the inside of the door. And I kind of chopped it up already. Um, but yeah, I'm using that. The bottom piece is going to be major on getting these doors done. It's going to be a lot faster because I don't have to install a window mechanism, door handles, locks. All that stuff so yeah it's gonna be sweet all right so we got the door seal in it's not finished all the way like i said i'm gonna dress that up but that's all i need to start the door so i can always do that later but look at that door get some close-up shots for you i'll have another piece there that covers that and then i'll have another piece down right there that kind of blends in with that she's in there got the other side done too and this door half the door on 
I gotta do the top parts on both of them. And then I'll start with the like seal and everything. I already have these. They're nice and rested already. Oh, I need my tripod back just now. All right, there we go. That's like the door seal. And then what I'll do is I'll put a rubber fits perfect on this all the way around. So it'll be, what I'll do is I'll weld that in first and then go from that, bend the piece and it'll be one full piece. And then I'll put the sheeting, but this will be mounted first. So when you shut the door and everything, it's all sealed. Want to make sure that's right. Then I can go with the design. Lots of work, lots of work, lots of work. But it's coming together. Oh man. It's crazy that I started this build in January and it's just gone through so many phases. I wrote it, it sat for like six months. I wrote it for like three. And now we're getting the doors on. Look at this. Look at this. I'll throw it on like some tires or something in the next video so you guys can see what it's really gonna look like. Um, oh, look at my wheels. Look at these. Full Light sent these out. They're true bead locks, 15 by seven, two five offset. But I'm gonna run an inch spacer on them so it'll be three, four, just like the normal. But man, we all know I need bead locks. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. Dang it. Why? All right, so I have to get to the plug for the door so I can roll the other window down. And this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys my wiring. Oh, shoot. I'm going to need two hands. Editing magic, you know. And look at this. It's been getting uh, muddy in here because of that hole. That one right there. I haven't put a bolt in it, but that's not bad. And there's a plug we need. Oh, let's see. There's all this. It's hard to even see them, but all these lights, the amps, the speaker wires, they run up through there and into that. And into that harness. Why isn't that zip tied in? It needs to be zip tied in. But pretty clean. All right, so these are actually my pop's old doors we traded because he hit a stump with his window down like this, and it broke the window because the doors were like plastic. And he wanted a darker tint, so he took my doors off because I had already took my cab off. So I figured I can strip this and retent it. Uh, there's the new window. He did get me a window, but you can tell how tall, how much I chopped. This is the bottom of that. So, and then it probably went up to there and then there. So I chopped a good little bit off. I mean, that's about where my dad's is. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut these to like, probably like there. And then I'll have the new one up in there. Bam. And I chopped even more in the back. All right, so I got the guy or seals or whatever you want to call them cut down. Cut about that much off. Put it right up to the door. My door is going to be a little bit thinner at the top. I wanted the window to go all the way up or as close as possible, at least. So, I'm gonna throw them on, throw that on, and uh, then I should be able to connect the dot. <laughs> yep. Look at that. Yeah.